Hey guys, lately I've been seeing a lot of Flash USDT videos popping up in my YouTube feed. When I looked into it more, I saw that all these videos have a Solidity script pasted in their descriptions and show how you can generate more Flash USDT using that script. Let's take a look at one such video. Like I said, you'll find a Solidity script in the description. Let's take a look at the script. The first thing I noticed is that this isn't a Flash USDT generating script, but something called a Uniswap liquidity bot. I went through the script and found no logic to generate Flash USDT. Still, I decided to give it a try and followed the video attempting to generate USDT, but I had no success and all my ether was burned in the process. Then I came across a thread on Reddit where someone was asking about Flash USDT. It was posted in a group called Crypto India. It's a large group with around 300,000 members have been reading about Flash coins, especially USDT, USDC, and BTC. Has anyone experienced using it or being scammed by it, getting mixed info online, and unable to get any solid inputs? Someone replied, there's nothing like a Flash USDT, it's fake. Let's scroll down and see if we can find something valuable, maybe some code, software, or anything useful. Someone wrote, I'm selling USDT Flash software. Contact me now, Telegram. Let's keep on scrolling. Then I found something, a GitHub link to some software. Let's check it out. It's a zip file. I'm not going to unzip an unknown file on my PC and risk infecting it. Let's keep on scrolling. Then I finally found this. Anyone looking for Flash USDT can check out this code. It's not the same 0 0.66 compiler code that's been circulating around. Take a look at this one. It has a more advanced compiler and better tuned logic. Let's see, this one is using the 0 0.84 compiler, which is the latest. As we scroll down the code, we can see functions like requesting USDT from Faucet, which suggests that this code is using some kind of Flash USDT Faucet to mit the Flash USDT. The contract is called Flash USDT Minter. This one has complex functions and it looks like it's minting Flash USDT from some kind of faucet. Let's copy this code and paste it in a remix. Let's see if it works. I've already deployed the code once and it worked. Now I'm deploying it again for the purpose of this video. Name the file usdt.sol and paste the code. You'll get a warning message from Remix. Just read it, click close, and proceed. Scroll to the top of the code so we can review the pragma version and import statements. Let's go through the user guide info. It says testnet transactions will fail because they have no value in them. You can mint a max of 1 million Flash USDT. There's also a conversion ratio from Ether to Flash USDT. And it also says to prevent bots and abuse, the Flash USDT faucet requires a minimum Ethereum mainnet balance of 0 0.15 ETH on the wallet address being used. So, to run this contract, you need a minimum balance of 0 0.15 ETH in your MetaMask wallet. Let's check our wallet to see if it has the minimum required balance to run the code. Perfect. Now, let's deploy the code. No need to change the compiler version. Just click on compile usdt.sol. A green check mark will appear, which means the code compiled successfully. 
Now go to Deploy and Run Transactions section. Let's check if this will run on the test net. Click on Deploy. We can see that the transaction failed on the test net. Now let's redeploy it on the Ethereum mainnet. Click on Deploy. Confirm the transaction. Confirm the transaction on MetaMask. Our contract is now successfully deployed on the mainnet. Click on the contract and you'll see three buttons. Generate flash, set trade balance on ETH, and key. The key button will generate the API key needed to run the generator. Copy the API key and paste it into the value field. Now enter the ETH value. This will generate the flash USDT. You can use the conversion ratio provided in the code description. I'll use 0.05 ETH, which should give me around 33,000 USDT. And finally, click on generate flash to mint the flash USDT. The one thing I want to point out that confused me was why the contract was deducting the entire balance instead of just 0.05 ETH. It's because the contract takes the full balance and then splits it into ETH and Flash USDT. You'll understand it better once you see the process later. Now, let's confirm the transaction. Wait till your Flash USDT is minted. Oh, it says the transaction failed. Let's try generating Flash USDT again by increasing the gas fees. Let's round the gas fees to the next higher integer and try it again this time. This time, the transaction went through, so hopefully we've generated some flash USDT. And yes, we've successfully generated 33,333 Flash USDT. You can use Flash USDT on sites like Stake and other gambling platforms. I personally tried it on Stake and it worked. Hopefully you all come up with new and creative ways to use this Flash USDT. Just make sure not to scam anyone. I'll include the link to the code I found on Reddit in the description. Take care and bye for now.